got a freshly cut rabbit in there. It looks like I lost another one. A nice rabbit to finish off the pair for Mr. Hines. But one was taken or managed to untie my snare from the snare pole. I got the one rabbit there, but I had a second rabbit in the pen, and the snare is gone. The rabbits have been crossing the trail everywhere up here, and uh, I decided to come in here and, and drop a pin just right there. I got this pen all ready to go. Do a quick snare inspection here. That one slipped in a bit. This one slipped in a bit. Alrighty. Sink it down to the board. Right about there. Grab some birch tips, drop them in. Now I'm just going to cut a couple of uh, fir boughs to go over to the top using the big boy silky saw. I'll get a few more there now. Cross over to Skidoo to get them. I add spruce boughs over the top of the pins to deter the moose from going after the birch tips inside. And just that quick, simple, and easy, we have a snare set. And we'll soon be ready to move on to the next one. Just gonna fill in my holes here. My foot steps. Done. Just that quick, simple, and easy pen set. Okay, I'm heading home there now. I, I just dropped Karen off in Corner Book for her chemo treatment. And now I'm um, getting ready to go out and check a couple of pens. I put two pens out, the two new pens that I had built, I, I got them up behind the house there now. So I, I put that out only last evening. So 
so I'm not really expecting. I find with the pins, second day is when you get your catches onto them the best. Uh, let me see now. How many rabbits am I after catching in, in the pens? Six rabbits. The first time I put it out, I got a rabbit the very next day. One rabbit, one night. Second time I put it out, I got... Uh, what was it? Two rabbits in one night. Third time I moved a pen, I had it out for two nights and caught a single rabbit. And then I put it out, the video on, on uh, the early one there, where I caught and lost one. Um, I had the, the pen out for two nights, didn't get nothing the first night, second night I had two rabbits in one pen. But the, rat, the snare was totally untied, which makes me believe that maybe somebody come along and, and uh, took it. There was a fresh set of uh, snowmobile tracks that went in and out of there. And, um, yeah. So I'm wondering if, he, uh, if they took the rabbit or not. Anyhow, uh, I wrapped my snares uh, two, sometimes three, and sometimes four times around the pole, and then a minimum of three times around the wire, but most times uh, four to five times. So uh, for it to come untied and all the snare be gone, I don't know. I haven't had that happen to me before. I had the snares bust before. Not as much as what other people claim to have, but uh, I do get a scattered breakage. But this was a, a total snare untied and, and, and brought out through that wire. And when you wrap it in and around with that wire, it's hard to get it out too, I can guarantee you. So that's, that makes me believe that perhaps somebody, uh, I, I, well, if somebody took it, I hope they really needed it. But anyway, what a gorgeous day. Just uh, coming in here on uh, what they call White's Road. Lots of moose sign, look at that, boy. holy, the moose got that tore up. Well, uh, I got to this rabbit just in time. He was still alive in the snare. I grabbed him by the hind foot and uh, gave, him a, gave him a quick judo chop and uh, broke the snare. Now, I don't know if it was a judo chop I gave him or if he was about to break that snare anyways, but uh, I got a rabbit in this pen and I got a pen just down here before you break it on the, on the flat and I had a rabbit in that one so uh, and I put these pens out last night and just before dark it was probably about six o'clock six thirty when I put the pens out and I ended up catching uh, a rabbit in each so I'll get that snare remade I don't know if any other snares no all the other snares are in good working order so I'll get this snare remade and then I'll go down there and, and take care of the other one now you guys can be the judge. I don't know if you can see how well those snares are tied on. I got uh, one, two, three, three wraps around the pole. One, two, three, four, five wraps around the wire. And they're all like that, you know? <sighs> Same here. That rabbit wasn't going to uh, get that off. It's three wraps around the thing and three or four wraps around the wire. And yesterday I had a rabbit that went away with my snare, the whole snare come untied from the pole. I can't see that happening. I think uh, I think somebody made off with with, her, with one of my rabbits yesterday. But that's it. That's what happens. I mean, you can see the how close I got to set to the screw trail. So it's easy pickings. So you can see uh, the pen there where I just got the rabbit. I'll keep this running. And I come so close to losing that rabbit because there was a fox that, that crossed the trail not 30 yards from it. And here's my other pen. And there's my other rabbit. A fine pair of rabbits for Mr. Seaward, as requested by his son Darren. Oh look, looks like I missed one. I wonder was it the same one, or was it a different one? 
geez. I almost had two here. Or maybe, maybe it was the same guy. What about that back snare? The back snare is still in good shape. That snare there was drawed tight. That snare there is good. I don't see any of the tips fed on. So maybe, perhaps it was that guy there. Maybe he pulled this one and went around the corner, jumped through that one, and that's it. Lights out. Either way, uh, two rabbits this morning, two pens set last night, and they're only about 70 yards apart. I managed to pick up uh, a pair. Of okay, I, I don't know if I got the recording last time, but I got a rabbit here in this pen. Looks like I missed one here, probably the same rabbit because none of the tips are chewed on. The other two uh, snares are good and my other pen is up there about 70 yards away okay so two pens one night two rabbits a rabbit in each i uh, just coming up here again to uh, check the, the pens but I had a, a little snare set right here <clears throat> can't see the rabbit but I can see his feet down there Oopsie. Yes, sir. Now, how do you get your foot tangled up in that? They always do that. Hey, they always get tangled up around their toes or something. I kind of just slipped that off his neck. I don't get that around from his foot. Here, I want to put you guys down while I try and straighten that out. Hopefully, the camera is pointing at it. He's got it around his toe here somehow. Oh, and around that tall. What has he got done here? Got a tiger by the toe. It's plain to see. Oh, there you go. End up kinking it all. <clears throat> Perfect neck shot onto him. Beautiful rabbit. <clears throat> Anytime you find a spot like it there underneath a big tree like this where the rabbits was going in and out of you know look jeez there lots of rabbits hiding there you put a snare there underneath the big limbs and underneath the big cover that's almost a guarantee oh here can't do that with one hand Let's see how many times I did that one one two three four five six six times round yeah i don't think the rabbits will ever untie my snare they never have in the past Ooh. but that's a dandy little rabbit i know right where this one's going one fine rabbit for my Buddy Wayne Alexander. I got a little bit of water on the lens of the camera. Put my whole snare in there. I'm not gonna bother resetting the snare. Today is Friday. Hey everybody. It's my birthday. All right, perhaps I'll leave you in my hands to uh, go check the next snare here. We'll just do a drive-by if there's nothing into it. That one there is uh, the second one I got in that one, second night. And I, I really wasn't expecting to get one. But uh, perfect next shot onto him. You know what? We know it's here. We're gonna go on up above, check the other pin in case I got one live. Because I almost lost one in the other pin there yesterday. When I gave him a judo chop, I had him caught around the neck, but when I gave him the judo chop, the uh, snare bro. Okay, this one don't look like that one there was not touched. All four snares are uh, the same 
they sure are producing. That rabbit there marks uh, my ninth rabbit in, in the pens. You know? So, are the pens working? Well, I had to say that they are. And look, I think, oh, don't tell me he got his foot wrapped too. He does, look. Every time, every time they wrap us around. And a bad kink there, hopefully it's not kinked down here. If it's not kinked down there, I'll reuse that same snare. But what, how many wraps I got on that? Uh, one, two, here, I'll put you guys down. Three. Oh, broke off. Ho, ho, ho. I was lucky there. Oh, boy. That's the thing about these brass wire. They, I, you know, I, I know that they do break. You know, there's, there's no, no denying it. But I see that my snare in the back of the pen. Look, the bridge tips are still not touched. So, so far, with the new pen design and, and the, um, and the, uh, oh, geez, guide sticks built into the pen. I've, uh, I've managed to, uh, um, prevent any rabbit from getting into the, into the birch tips. So there's a, a snare over there in the back. I gotta wiggle my way around that and try not to uh, disturb the snow too much to open up that snare. I guess that's good. Anyway, I'm sure Wayne is going to be happy with a, with a pair of rabbits. Beautiful, beautiful rabbit. That's what I like to see. So that's not too bad. That one random snare, I'm glad I set it down there. But I don't pass up a spot like that, you know, where they're... Uh, gathering underneath a big fir tree like that, you see? I, I won't pass that up at all. But how easy is that to check? That is literally about, well, that's six inches, eh, bye? One, two, 18 inches off the trail. Oh, jeepers, I was about to take off. Oh, you know what? I don't have a snare. Oh. So you know what I gotta do? I gotta block off that gate. I almost drove away. I wouldn't have had any rabbits tomorrow. Yeah, with the season winding down, I, uh, I didn't bother taking any snares with me. That would have been a bad, bad mistake. There you go. Jeepers. And that was that was the hot side of this, the pen. I wonder why now. They must approach. They must come up from in here somewhere, I guess. Or come down across the road here and cross over. But uh, two days in a row, I had a rabbit in the exact same spot on that pen. I think that's it for the rabbits up here, you know. I should almost move those pens, but... Uh, and perhaps this evening, if it doesn't rain too much, it's calling for rain, see? So I don't, I don't want to get too crazy uh, with it. It calls for rain all day long. So I don't want to uh, go through the trouble of moving the pens if the rabbits are not 
if they're not going to bother to run. I think this is going to be a poor night for to catch the rabbits anyhow. But I wonder should I just get a little bit of that water droplets off the snare because that's going to, you know, is that's going to freeze, eh? That's at least. You got to be so careful because the snares are loaded, eh? But I love the shape of that snare. That's, to me, that's a guarantee right there. Yep. All right. Thank goodness for the old uh, big boy silky saw. And uh, don't forget, they are on sale 10% off till the end of March. So if you haven't got one and you want one, now is the time to order. Again, I'll put a link to it with the discount code NL Ghost 10. NL Ghost and the, the, the number 10, one and the zero, all tied together. I like, I like keeping my rabbits onto the pan of the, of the shovel. But I'm happy now. And I know my buddy Wayne is going to be happy. So that's it now. I'm going to turn off the camera. And we're going that way.